the master dual tier list post the January 2023 ban list. First of all, I got to say happy new year. And I hope you guys are having a phenomenal day. If you guys aren't, don't let what happened at the beginning of your day ruin the rest of your day. Of course, I got five different categories here. Decks that are diamond worthy, solid, good in the right hands, struggling, and then just dusted. And if you were to ask me, the only strategies that I would say would not be viable whatsoever in Master Duel right now would be just the dusted category. So let's go ahead and jump on in and give you a full assessment on what I think the Master Duel meta will be post that ban list, but before those duelist packs or the new pack that we're going to be getting. Of course, I'm going to be making some speculation, but let's jump on in. Dino is still good in the right hands, guys. A solid Dino player can easily break some of the best boards in Yu-Gi-Oh. I don't think it's a bad deck. The only problem with Dino is that it still has the same limitations as Dino has always had. It doesn't have the best extra deck cards. And while it could OTK at the drop of a dime, it hasn't gotten anything to make it a really viable deck, guys. In my opinion, in my opinion, we need more support for Dinos. On the other side, Sky Strikers just got some really good support. We've always raved that Sky Striker was not a good deck because Sky Striker Ace Kagarmi was at one, and it didn't matter how many engages you had, as long as Kagari was at one, it's not going to be a good deck. This time around, Kagari is actually at two, so I'm really conflicted here. I want to go ahead and say in the right hands, but I think you could also make a case for solid. Now, the reason why I would put it in the case for solid is because Kagari isn't the only thing that gave this deck a huge boost. Card of Demise is still at two for the Demise Striker players to get spell cards in the graveyard as fast as possible. Also, the Mobilize Engage is at two. Predator Plant Vert Anaconda, which can still spell cards from the deck to the graveyard, is at two. And the Adventure Engine is still available. So Sky Striker actually has a lot more tools to play with than it does in its OCG or its TCG counterpart. Sky Striker and Master Duel could be a very, very good deck. Now, ABC, pre the Regulus or the Therion Monsters, which includes Therion King Regulus to take this deck over the moon. I would have to say that this deck is huge struggling. ABC Dragon Buster to three does not do enough. It just simply does it. It like ABC Dragon Buster to three is going to be the exact same thing as ABC Dragon Buster to two. The only difference is once those Therion cards come out, this strategy does become a lot stronger. One other thing that I do want to point is that we do have the Adventure Engine hit inside of Master Duel. So it's not going to be one for one if you guys experience the TCG version of ABC, but it's still going to be a pretty decent deck once we get that. For right now, big struggles. Adamantipators, my fellow chat members, Adamantipators lost Block Dragon to one, which is that really even a hit? <laughs> like, it almost feels like a joke. It really does because Adamantipators can always still get into Block Dragon fairly easy. Like, I, I don't get why the Black Dragon, the one hit was there. I'm still going to say that it's, I mean, it, I'm, I'm really struggling between Diamond Worthy and Solid. It doesn't feel like there were any real hits to Adam Antipater. While some of the other decks got hit um, a little harder, I still think that the good players or even a bad player can still get uh, it to Diamond Worthy. Now, chat's going to say it forces the choke, which is better. Just trim the deck to a nicer count. They sunk. So we're, it looks like we're, we're all on a little bit split decision. At the very worst, it's a solid deck. So I'm going to play it safe and put it in the solid because we're in a split decision. I think that it does hit the grass version like uh, Renatu says. But overall, it's still a very, very good deck. Now, some people are going to still say that Despia didn't get hit enough or Branded didn't get hit enough. Right now, it is a diamond worthy deck. I feel that when the new support comes out, this will come down to a solid deck. And the reason why is because hitting Alibur Jester of the Despia actually hits a lot worse than what people think. You can't just summon a monster and get a free branded fusion from your deck to your hand. And with branded opening still being semi-limited on this tier list or the forbidden list last time I checked, makes it so much harder to get into your branded fusion. Now, my chat actually did say, oh, yo, you could just play Keeper of the Dragon Magic or Tri Brigade Kit. Springen's kit, my apologies. No, 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 no. You have to give up one card for Keeper of the Dragon Magic. You have to give up one card for Springen's kit. And then you have to give another card up for you Lubellians. That is not a winning strategy, my friends. It's not a winning strategy, which definitely 
uh, prohibits the deck from being as strong as you want to be. I feel like we pick on Cyber Dragons a little bit too much, but I mean, it's pretty warranted to say dust this deck if you have it. When the Therion cards do come out, it does get a little bit more serious, but until then, or unless we get a machine dominant format, it's uh, it, it's a dusted strategy. Uh, the Ignister Monsters, uh, in my opinion, struggle. I don't think that this is a bad deck. I think you can actually play this deck all the way to Platinum. It's just when you go second against some of these other decks, the Diamond Worthy decks, or even maybe even some of the Solid decks, you're not going to get as much uh, as much fuel as you would want to from this deck as the other deck. So that's why I would put it in a struggling category. Dino Morphia just got some insane support. You got Dino Morphia Rexstrom and the Dino Morphia Frenzy Trap card. That is incredible. Though I don't think it takes it to Diamond Worthy, I think it is a in the good hands slash solid deck. Dino Morphia Rexstrom is literally the best card for the deck. It is a walking boss monster. It is incredible. It actually allows you to play uh, against some of the top tier decks a lot more easier, and it makes it worth risking all of your life points to be able to summon and make those boards. So it's it's really, really, I'm gonna go ahead and say it's solid just because it doesn't require a lot of like huge big brain plays, but it does require some good deck building. Dragon Maids, I think Dragon Maids is pretty good in the right hands. In a slower format with Maxi abundantly clear as one of the best hand traps, this is a solid Yu-Gi-Oh deck that can still compete with some of the other decks. Uh, Eltlich, I, I feel like the community is split every time I talk about Eltlich. I think Eltlich struggles. I think Eltlich is like the cap between good players and bad players. And that's strictly because Conquistador is at one. And since Conquistador is at one, once you play around that one Conquistador that this deck has, you kind of just... Like, you're good, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter what version of Eltlich you're playing. You can play Branded Eltlich, which got significantly worse. You can't really play Adventure Eltlich because, you know, the Adventure Engine is hit to you can't play it as effective. This deck is not great. And I feel that if you guys think you could just play Eltlich and win, it's not like that anymore against better tiered players. Eltlich is on its last legs. Only Bestial drops. Only once Bestial drops, it becomes a dead deck. Yeah, it's pretty dead in the TCG because of Bestials. Exosisters might get support, which I think will be pretty good. But for right now, I'm going to say struggling. There are actually a ton of strategies in Master Duel that are not reliant on the graveyard, making Exosisters drop a job a lot harder. When we do get against more decks that are super reliant on the graveyard, this deck becomes a lot better. With the new support, I think in the right hands, if we get Exosister Martha, this, this deck becomes a lot better. Fluanderis, uh, the hit the pot of duality and the hit the pot of prosperity, I think matter a lot. But even until then, until we get better decks, it's still a diamond-worthy deck. Soon enough, I think that both of these decks, both uh, Despia and Fluanderis, will drop to solid. But for right now, I think that they're really solid decks with their consistency hit a little bit more so the new decks can take over. Uh, Labyrinth. Labyrinth's good in the right hands. <laughs> Yo, I thought that this deck was going to be amazing. Unfortunately, that's not the case. It's, it's just a solid Yu-Gi-Oh deck. Um, there are a lot of cards that aren't in Master Duel that really hinders this deck. Terrors of the Overroot is going to be phenomenal for this deck, but overall, it's just a deck that you need in the right hands, especially with cards like Pot of Prosperity hit. It does hurt this deck a little bit. And also, this deck does lose to Ash, which Ash is still being played a ton in Master Duel. Earth Machine, I will put in a struggle bus, my guys. I don't think that Earth Machine is bad, it just loses, it auto loses to Maxi, which is never good. And on top of that, the boards that you can make is, it's not really worth it. If you were picking a combo deck, there's other better combo decks to play. Unfortunately, though I do like Earth Machine, I'm going to tell you what's real, guys. So Marine says, oh my God, I got to say good in the right hands. This is a deck that uh, is a little bit overrated by some, it's a little bit underrated by most. And does overperform when you have a player that understands how Marine Cess works. I personally think that a uh, hand trap version, instead of trying to make the Marine Cess Battle Ocean thing and doing all that crazy stuff, I think that a control version is way better than what people are giving it credit. Uh, heroes, heroes are good in the right hands. There's so many hero cards. Like you get bad hero players, you get good hero players. A good hero player makes his deck seem really good. A bad hero player. Forget about it. He's normal summoning uh, Elemental Hero Clayman, and that's pretty much it. 
I will put Drytron in the God, can we please kill this deck? I don't want to see it anymore. Overall, it's a very, very solid deck that can continue to keep playing and make some insane boards. Pendulum got some support from the ban list. I think that that's going to put it in a good in the right hands instead of a struggling. The uh, fact that we lost our FTK for the deck is good because the FTK wasn't even being played. And that we got other cards like Supreme King, Dark Worm, and stuff like that is amazing for the deck. Pendulum is in the right direction, if you ask me. Punter Patrol is another deck in struggling right now. I think that the hits to the adventure really, really hurt this deck. I think it hurt this deck a lot. But once we get more support for the deck, uh, you know, and more other other cards that'll that'll make the deck a little bit better, maybe some off support and Magician Souls, Magician Souls really helps. It'll be a lot better. Prank Kids, uh, it's it's not a bad deck, but it's not a great deck. It, it's pretty good. Proto Plants only got better. Proto Plants might supplant Despia as the better deck of the two because Proto Plants did get Darlington Cobra while this did lose Oliver. Hypothetically, if Darlington Cobra was at three, this might be a diamond worthy deck as it does play some crazy shenanigans and can do what this deck does, but also search cards like Super Polymerization. Rocket Dragon Link is also a great deck in the solid hands. I think in the TCG and in Master Duel, we overestimated how powerful Albas was going to be. It's a great card, but it's not like, it's not dominant. It, it doesn't really hurt Dragon Link to what we thought it was. I don't want to say much about Runic, but it's here to stay, unfortunately. If you guys thought that Fluanda Reese and Despia were toxic, if you guys think that Drytron was toxic, if you thought that Adamantibator and Outlist was toxic, this is even worse. Like, comparatively, I would not complain about any of these decks. I would complain about this deck. That's it. I would literally complain about this deck as it doesn't require a lot of interaction. This deck's trash. Solomon Great, definitely in the struggle bus. Not a great deck. I think Scareclaw is only really good in the correct player's hands. There's so much that needs to be done with this deck because the cards don't seem really powerful, but once you play them, you realize how good the deck is. Spell Book of Judgment did too. I'm going to go ahead and give it an in the right hands look. Because Spell Book of Judgment to 1 is okay, but Spell Book of Judgment to 2? Sheesh. It's also secret Sky Striker support, guys. Keep in mind, anytime you activate Sky Striker spell cards, they count towards your Spell Book Judgment count. So maybe even a Striker Spell Book deck might arise. Uh, this deck, I think, is struggling for right now. When we get, the hopefully, the new pack support, maybe it's a little different. But for right now, I think that it's struggling. The new cards that come out in Power to the Elements for the TCG, there's some new Rika cards. There's also um, the Therion cards that help this deck tremendously, but for right now, struggling. Uh, Sword Soul, despite my recent bashes for this deck, it's it's still solid. It's, it's still ridiculously solid, guys. Long Yuan the 2 fucking sucks. This deck is not a great deck going first, but overall, it, it's really, really good. So, uh, Phantom Knights... Dust it. <laughs> Phantom Knights can play fairly well. Kind of. But there is it's like, why even play Phantom Knights, right, guys? <laughs> Space says cap. <laughs> Space says cap. I don't know. I, I'm not feeling Phantom Knights, guys. Phantom Knights are kind of fair. I think the problem with Phantom Knights is that it's too fair of a deck. Like, it's, it's a deck that like you play and like you do crazy things and your opponent's like oh okay that's cool and they keep playing you know what i mean like phantom knights still have grass is greener my guy why would you ever play phantom knights grass when you can play just better grass decks no disrespect to phantom knight players no disrespect but like this deck doesn't feel as good and pk can't go second honestly i agree with that i 100 percent agree with that thunder dragons i think thunder dragons are struggling Though there are some cards in the future that will make this deck a lot better. Um, it's a very good going second combo deck, but you need the correct player and you're you're not doing too hot right now. Trabergate, still a solid Yu-Gi-Oh deck. This is one of the best decks uh, in Master Duel right now. Uh, a good Umi player makes all of this irrelevant. It's it's a very, very good deck. Um, and it, can, it has so much applications against the meta. Uh, Virtual World. Virtual World has almost fallen off the cliff like people picking it, but uh, it, it's still a good deck in the right hands. Good players know how to do it. Tamias has been bugging the living daylights out of me with this deck, and I think players are just sick of seeing it. 
Uh, Zombie World, I would 100% consider dusting this. I've, I actually dusted some of this in my Master Duel series, but I bought the three structure decks, so it is what it is. This is not a terrible deck, but the loss of Hockley Fibrix is not great. And then wind-ups, don't even bother, guys. <laughs> Giving you an additional wind-up carrier did nothing at all. It, it doesn't work. It doesn't help. It, it's all right, but it doesn't help. But these are my thoughts on the Master Duel tier list post-January 2023. I'm excited to see what you guys have to say about uh, your particular decks. And if there's a deck that I missed, let me know. I'll try to put it on the next tier list. I'll catch you later.